few years ago, I had quite a bit of a lifestyle change. Prior to that moment, I had been kind of running myself from one thing to the next. I was finding that um, I constantly had a to-do list. I was over-scheduling myself. I wasn't really giving myself time in between each activity. So I kind of felt like I was never really enjoying or being present to the activity that I was doing because I was always in my head thinking, gosh, I've got to get to here or I've still got to still get to all these things that I um, you know, felt like I was responsible for. And there's lots of things that I am responsible for because I have three kids and I have two businesses and I have a husband and a dog. So there's loads of things that will pull my time in um, different directions. But what I started noticing probably around the pandemic is there was lots of things that was getting my time and my energy that wasn't really giving me much back. Um, once I slowed everything down and sort of came back into what my priorities were, I realized that I was giving a lot of my energy just to things that are kind of habits or routine. And I wasn't really actually consciously going, am I enjoying this? Is this actually adding to my life or was it depleting my energy and leaving me feeling drained? So um, what I've really realized that we as humans need to do is to really stop and really to bring ourselves back into our, cent our center to regulate our nervous systems because we're so overwhelmed by the, all the different things that we're responsible responsible for and we've got going on in our lives that we don't often sort of just quieten everything down and check in with ourselves and see what we would prefer to do rather than just you know what's always been done. I'm really excited to announce that I'm going to be running um, individual retreats which will give people a chance to come back into their their bodies, um, really get out of their heads, um, understand what's happening for them when they do go into fight and flight, um, different ways that they can regulate their nervous system, that they can calm everything down. Um, we're going to be doing breath work, we're going to be doing meditations, we'll be taking you on um, musical journeys that are going to really tap into kind of expanded consciousness. There's loads of activities we're going to do to help you create different rituals and routines that can help bring you back to your centre, bring you back to your innate wisdom and knowledge, quiet the monkey mind and and really just allow you the stillness to get to know yourself again because it's when you know yourself that you can take care of yourself and lots of times we actually don't know how to take care of ourselves because we're not knowing who we are anymore because we're so influenced by everything around us um, that we're not really hearing our own voice so I look forward to sharing um, an individual retreat with you or um, even just try and do some things for yourself, you know, get out into nature, listen to podcasts that expand your mind and you're learning and growing all the time. Anything that's going to just bring you joy and light you up, um, I hope that you can add into your life.